Hello everybody and welcome to Sparta Gaming's playthrough of God of War on the PlayStation 3. Yes, we are back. So, um, we are heading to the city of Athens, I think she said. Uh, the boobs in that other room distracted me, as as do all men distracted by boobies. So, uh, it's, it's, it's a flaw. So... Take these because we won't be coming back here anymore. We should get introduced to a new enemy. Gates of Athens. Nobody's piloting that ship. It's gonna crash. Oh no, it's just stopped. Huh. See? The gods will forgive your past. He's not asking for forgiveness, darling. He wants you to remove these fucking nightmares he's having. They're driving him insane. Ah, so these are the upgraded versions of the dudes we just fought, or you can instantly grab. You can't grab these ones. So. But you should be able to spawn. Yeah, you can just circle spam them. <laughs> as long as you knock them into the sky, you can just. Just do this. Delicious cheese. Otherwise, you have to contend with them blocking your every ability. Plus, they do that when you try to, block, um, try to grab them. Yeah, the um, a lot of these enemies, the the they have the same problem at the that I remember from Chains of Olympus, and it's it's the fact that. Uh, they take um, no knockback sometimes. Like if they're in the middle of animation, they'll they'll just go through you no matter what you do, and it leads to quite a lot of um. It just it leads to just frustration because, especially the big like the big minor toys that you fight later on, and they are an incredibly cheap enemy because they they just block everything. You get one shot off before they instantly go to blocking. Ah, it's a bloody nightmare. That's what it is. Because then, sadly, they're all um, lined up. In fact, better. I really should use my magic more. There's no reason not to. It's a bit slow on the uptake. Um, he's all Kratos in God of War One. He's not as um, he's not as slick as he was in, well, as he is in the um, the later ones. So there should be a uh, there's a little door. Yeah. Your first first secret of Athens is in here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, unfortunately, like if if you're fighting multiple enemies, man, they just they're so punishing. I mean, these guys don't block, but they have the ability just to yeah, they just do that all the time, and it's. Uh, it kind of cheapens them because they're they're easy to kill, but you have to inter in until I get counter, which I really need, where I can counter attack them. I have to contend with this blocking, which is uh, it's not cool. I don't even need that, so there's no reason to get it. I can't remember what the um, what the term is when enemies can. When they take no knockback, it's 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 I can't remember the term. It was it's specifically called something. I can't remember what it is. The pain in the art. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have saved that magic because I'm gonna need it. Shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> you give me more help. Oh well, there should be another chest somewhere around here. <laughs> These guys are stupid. Look out! No! No! Get away from me! 
Why? Why would you turn and run away from like bull headed um, enemies? Yeah, so these are the first time you fight these annoying bastards and the you can get like one shot off before they do that. And as soon as you, um, as soon as they block your attacks, if you hit them like three or four times, they will s push you back with their, with their axe, and sort of stun you for a few seconds or for a few milliseconds. But yeah, they're so cheap. So you do that. So yeah, yeah, this is quite cool. I, lo I, do, I do like the way you kill these. So, killing the Manator this way would always yield health. I don't need it, but I'll do it. Spam circle. Yeah, so the easiest way I, I remember killing these is to knock them into the sky and then just spam circle. Otherwise, you have to contend with them constantly blocking you and... It's just not on. Again, they're easy to fight. They, you know, they're easy to fight. It's just they are cheapened with the fact that they um, have the ability to block. Like basically, they can do what you do, and you don't have an ability to um, to break guard. Not that I know of, anyway. Obviously, you can't combo through um, through enemies that are guarded so as soon as you start a combo and they're blocked then your combo is broken and this should be the first time you see cyclopses gas i don't like i said the shitty will fall oh no not the shitty yeah so you fight these big boys here with their um cannon hands Again, these are like the first time you fight enemies that are quite annoying to to block against on guard. You can't block against their their cannon hand. But the the, uh, the, the thing with enemies in this game is um, if you roll too soon, uh, they will track you. They, they like follow you. Which is a um, piss take. It's a lot of the reasons I'll take a lot of my damage is because because you can't roll through them and they should two more spawn. Yeah, because you can't like roll through their abilities, you have to you have to time your rolls and shit, which is not always the easiest thing to do. See, you followed me. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Yeah, fortunately, they don't have massive range. So, this should lead red orbs. I don't need to save my magic at the moment. Let's just kill him and be done with it. You know, just as a red, there's a barrel there that flashes blue and green, mean I can take health for magic. Cheers, lad. Doink. There's another chest over here. Little secret chest. Hidden away. Yeah, the Cyclopses get a lot harder when there's more of them. I mean, it's nice that the game's introduced them in an area where it's quite open. Uh, they will be a pain to fight if you fighted there, uh, if you fought them in a, an area with incredibly tight spaces, like in this area here, <laughs> where there's wards either side of you. There is another chest down here, but it's only health, and I don't need it. So there's no reason to take it. I may come back this way. You never know. I probably won't. I can't remember backtracking too much in this game. But as I said, I've not played this game for... Oh, they spawned in. I've not played this game for a while, so... I'm mistaken. I remember that. And there should be another one. Yeah. 
Thank God it can't get squashed. Uh, I, I do remember some of the puzzles in this game, and I remember them because, uh, as I said in previous videos, I if I remember a game specifically, it's normally because I've been traumatized by it. And uh, yeah, this game has some very traumatizing sections. Uh, no. Another magic orb. Yeah, this game has some quite um, traumatizing parts. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, are oh, you? The game really does not like you climbing on things. Mac, you should lock into the wall. There you go. If you shimmy along in your hands, he will get to this point and, like, right here, and he'll just fall off. Because that's what you do. Okay. So this is one of the main problems with fixed cameras is that you can't judge distance because the game decides that it doesn't want to let you focus on what you need to focus on. It wants to focus on what it needs to. I guess fixed cameras are more for the dramatic, aren't they? I mean, it's nice um, to do a fixed camera for... Um, for a set piece or something, you know, or somewhere that needs to have the camera focused on it. But platforming with fixed cameras is an absolute n no. Don't 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 even think about it. It's not cool, unless you want to piss off your fans. And I gotta say that I mean this game did incredibly well. But again, God of War's got a war in it, you know. There wasn't many, and there still isn't that many type of games that are on par with God of War. Not that I can think of, anyway. There's, there's, there's been a few clones on the PlayStation specifically. Like I remember Heavenly Sword being quite um, God of War esque, and that game was fucking terrible. That game had one of the worst boss fights I've ever played, and I didn't even, I didn't even complete it. I remember getting right to the end, dying, on a three stage boss, and just fucking rage quitting. Never play that again. Ah, so, see, this is weird, right? Like, you normally get powers from gods who are not, no, not being sexist or anything, but it's the normally men, you know? And the person you see in a second is not the type of god you'd expect to be interested in helping somebody kill, you know? Aphrodite. See? Kratos. The goddess of love. With your progress, but your current skills will not be enough to defeat the minions of Ares. I offer you the power to freeze your enemies where they stand, but you must earn such a gift. <laughs> uh, what a load of bollocks! I'll give you power, but you have to kill this beast so I can give it you. Ah, uh, this Medusa. And I will give you the ability to wield its power. I'd rather not. Medusa's a pain in the arse. And a literal pain in the arse. She's incredibly hard to um to judge when she's going to attack because of uh the area you fight her in. As you can see, she's off screen ninety percent of the time. I mean, and she does a lot of damage, which is quite annoying. How are you, woman? I want health more than I need magic. Oh, Cornager. I mean, she's quite hard to um, predict. I mean, the Medusas in in the later games, they're quite easy to to predict when they're going to attack because they only normally attack with the... Oh, she's going to kill me. Leave me alone, damn it. So 
Tell you she come in. Uh, I died. Funny enough. Uh, yeah, she does a lot of damage, and she has the ability to like avoid you incredibly well. I I, f I have a really hard time fighting her because. I can't tell when she's going to attack. Don't jump when there's a Medusa in the room. That's stupid of you. Miss me. <laughs> it's that ability there. I can't... I, th I can't keep track of it because of how close the camera is to you. And Poseidon's rage is bobbins. Can I just... No, I was hoping I could um, train her, but... I'm having none of that. I should be following Dark Soul etiquette of um, not being damn greedy. Oh, God. This is um, another one of the worst type of quick time events is... When you have to rotate an analog stick. You don't get much time and yeah, they don't need to be in a game. Reduces geese. And the power of the Gorgon will be yours. <laughs> that face. The power of the Gorgon will be yours. I, I hate this ability. It's fucking terrible. The only good thing about it is I can freeze and then they can kill each other, which is quite funny. You do upgrade it later on. I think you get like a flash, which is quite cool. It like flash freezes enemies. <laughs> Just like she's, uh, <laughs> that is such a such such an ugly person. She's got the. Uh, it looks like she's looking in. You know, one of those um, like test tubes, and her face is just all like blown out. Looks like she's uh, had too much fucking Botox. Goddess of love. My ass. Yoink. They've got so much help. Like, Fodder should not take this long to kill. <laughs> uh, didn't even give me any health either. That's it. Guy's just chilling. Save point, more health. Okie dokie. Now, let's see if this is a... S Secret anywhere. I highly doubt it. Not this way anywhere. Ah, oh, what a surprise. There is a secret. Can I get over there? Um, how do I get over there? This is where the. Yeah. Oh man, I don't think I, I can't re, I physically can't remember how to get up. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's what sucks even worse is where it put me. You know what? I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna go and get back to where I was and get to this chest. 
I really can't be bothered to keep um, recording me failing. So I'll be back in just a sec. Ne next time you see me, it'll probably be either at those chests or uh, at the save point where we just was. So yeah, one second. Okay, I've um, I've given up. I might jump in again. And maybe I will find another way to get there. But jumping across from where I am is uh, it's not working. So... Okay, this is the door. Can't smash this wall. It looks like you should be able to. But I think um, the the crossbow only goes left and right. Yeah. Oh no. That wall doesn't look like it's um, breakable. There's a little crack in it. Yay! A for secrets. Do look secret. A Gorgon's eye? Oh, a feather. Thank you. See, look. Easily missable. Nice tick save. 